Right. As we're still in lockdown, I've no idea what day it is. Or what week it is. Week, three, four. Who knows? I thought I'd make, uh, start making antennas. I was going to try and do a dipole for six meters, but as you can see, the garden is a bit, uh, it's a bit small for that. So if you can't go vertical, you can go horizontal. So there's what I built. It's the far pot antenna for six meters. Basically, uh, went for coax. Stripped off the outer. And then out part way down, carried on with the braid. It's like a cheap bottom, a 50mm down pipe, 13 turns of coax. And straight down to there. Uh, Turn it's in BNC connector. That's the only connector I have. I didn't have uh, any other connectors, so um, yes, hello, George. Took a bit of uh, trimming. But I might actually get it yesterday while low on most of the the CW, SSB and the FM portion. But uh, built it for portable use so we're going to set it up in the back garden and um, see what we can find. Right, so there's the antenna on the pole. You can see right at the uh, it's a choke ballon that's going through the middle of the uh looks like the pole goes right up through the middle of that. Got some cable ties on that as well, don't want it to don't want the weight of the choke ballon to bend the pole a bit, but a uh, couple of zip ties there. I'm probably gonna use uh velcro straps. Let's get it on the meter. <coughs> so then CW portion is 50 to 50.1 It's about 1.4 CW SSB machine generated mode 50.1 to 50.5 Point three and fifty point five to fifty two all modes. One point seven. Not too bad, but a bit of um, trimming to get it into the FM part, but. Uh, Quite happy with that.
so I had a, a tuner that was on the uh, beacons part of it. Yesterday I picked up the Sun Torsal beacon, can't pick it up today. Buxton one's coming in fine. Uh, SSB, can't hear anything. I think everyone's doing uh, MFSK144, the meteor scatter stuff. I have to experiment with that. Put a call out on the GB3 SX with Peter, no one's got a back yet, but keep recording, keep uh, calling out. I did cut the antenna on top of it just to try and get the, the uh, SRO down. Now the CW part is 1.9 now, which isn't good, but I don't do Morse code anyway. Uh, 1.6 on the centre part of it, and 1.4 on the FM, so I've got, got a bit too much off. So that's the next bit of it, but um, yeah, really, really easy antenna to make. I mean, you can make one for two meters and seventy cents if you want. Might try one for ten meters. Obviously, the last time I was on ten meters, I was in the car, and it's a bit of a disadvantage. But I say I'm surrounded by houses. My house up that way, hills behind me. There's a hill over there to the west. So it's not ideal in the back garden, but uh, you know it, it it works anyway. But um, I thought I thought you might find it interesting. Until next time, seventy three, and uh, stay safe.